Before we get into the tutorial, I just want to mention that as this video goes up, I will be live streaming over at twitch.tv slash tmillyt and I'll be playing on my new Minecraft realm for Twitch subscribers. So if you're interested, come tag along and enjoy the video. Okay, so this particular effect does require the Sapphire plugins, so I'll leave a link down in the description to them, but you can also join my Discord and we can help you get them. Alright, anyway, so the first thing you want to do is you want to search in your effects tab up here, S underscore time warp RGB under Sapphire time. So remember, you do have to have the plugins for this, otherwise you can't really follow this tutorial. You then want to drag it onto your clip and it will look, it'll look a bit odd at the moment. And you just want to find where you get the kill. And you can use arrow keys to go frame by frame. So as soon as that bullet goes, you see here, you just want to go one before the bullet drops and then come over here to the effect controls panel and then change red shift frames to zero, change blue shift frames to zero. And that should look completely normal now. And then you just want to keyframe red shift and blue shift. So just press the little stopwatch icon. Still keep one below or one before the um, ammo changes. And then you just want to press one arrow key to when it changes. Increase this to one and then put this back to minus one. And this is what it should look like. So you can see there, there's a little bit of RGB. This does look a lot better if you add a shake. So I'll just do that quickly and show you what it looks like. So if we just go up here, this is another Sapphire effect. I have a tutorial on how to add shake, so I won't be um, showing you how to do it here. So you can just go and look at that if you want to know. But I'm just going to quickly add a shake and then we'll be back in a second when it's ready. Now, a common thing that you see um, LFGK, I think Nummy does this as well, is you have the actual shake that has the RGB on it. And if you want to do this, all you have to do is remove the RGB from your clip. So just press Control X to cut it so that we still have all the settings. Then you just want to right click on the clip and press Nest. And then, now you're on the outside on the nested clip, if you just paste the RGB back in, and you should get the effect on the shake. Now to show this properly, I'm just gonna increase the levels of the RGB, just to prove it. So you can see that the shake, if you look in the top corner, the shake is also um, animated with the RGB. You obviously don't want RGB to be that intense. Maybe you wanna do it a little bit more intense than one though, so yeah, let's go two and minus two. Let's have a look. So yeah, that's basically how you do the RGB split effect. It's extremely simple. It's just another effect, really, to put on. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. It was just a quick tutorial for today. There'll be another video on Wednesday and then another one on Friday. Probably both tutorials. I'm currently working on a montage. It's actually uh, quite a big one. So it should be a while before I release another um, gameplay video. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you later. Congratulations to Shaded Bacon for winning the giveaway. So I'm just going to friend him. I think we have to wait um, about two, was it two days until you can actually gift the skin. So I'll be back with the, the Friday video. I'll show me gifting the skin to Bacon. Bye.